Hey everyone, today we are going to be checking out these Lumary Smart Outdoor Spotlights. It's a pack of six and they're a total length of 56 feet. These are IP65 rated, so they're pretty waterproof. You have that warm white, cool white, and 16 million colors. That's what they're going to look like after we get them all set up. Back of the box information. This model is USGI 56A-1. Some other information there for you if you'd like to know. These lights do have app dimming, optional modes, again 16 million different colors, voice control. We're going to download an app for this. You can sync some music, they do have a timer, and you can control them all together. Let's go ahead and get that first look together here what's inside the box. Looks like these are some stakes for the lights. A remote. There's that power box control panel. It's starting to rain but we're still gonna proceed with this. Looks like we have our user manual. And there's the actual lights. Looks like they're all individual bubble wrap. Let's go ahead and unpackage the rest of this. Let's go ahead and take a closer look at these actual spotlights. They seem to be constructed very well. So this is your bracket here that does move so that you can adjust your spotlight and shine on whatever you're looking to put your spotlight on. Right here is where we're going to assemble that stake with that thumb screw that it comes with. So six spotlights, you can see that nice LED pattern in there. I'm going to go ahead and assemble those stakes into the spotlights so we can go ahead and get them set up. And that's what it looks like, just that simple thumb screw down there on the bottom screws in to that stake. Now you can adjust your spotlight to your liking. I have gone ahead and assembled all of the lights into the stand. And I went and just kind of placed them around where I thought I might want to put them. Just want to test them out before we put them in that final spot. So let's go ahead and plug these in. Upon plugging them in, they do start blinking so that you can go ahead and sync them with that app. So let's get that app all set up. Just looking over this instruction user manual here, and it looks like our first step really is installing that Lumary app. Looks like it is in the App Store and Google Play. Let's get started with that Lumary app. So I have gone ahead and downloaded it, but let's get it. Let's get it set up together. I went ahead and set up my account just utilizing a email address and password and now it says that we're going to go ahead and add a device. After you hit add device, you're going to go ahead and click on light source. So we need to go ahead and plug in that device and reset it. Here's the directions right here. So we're going to go ahead and plug it in and wait for that device to blink on and off. If you remember, we did plug in our lights already and they were blinking, however, they have turned solid now. So all we need to go ahead and do is press this button on our power cord, this little power box, for five seconds. And we'll go back into that reset configuration mode. And there we go. Now they're blinking so we can connect them to the Wi-Fi. On here, we've gone ahead and clicked that they are definitely blinking. Hit next. Now that we're adding a device, it's discovering our device as well. So if you're in the area of your device and it's blinking, it will show you this discover device here. If your lights are in that pairing mode and you click the add button while it's discovering, it will simply start adding the luminary smart lights that way. Otherwise you can manually add them as well. Now that we have the device added, let's go ahead and take a look at that app. So you can go ahead and power them on and off here. 
Once you go in there on the bottom, you have the ability to power things on and off. You also have the ability to change the color. So you have over 16 million colors. You also have the white lights, which you can change the intensity and that warm to cool selection. Here you also have different scene scenarios that you can choose. So it looks like you can have rainbow effect, flow, the lights that chase, gradient, blinking, all different kinds of scenes. You can also set these to some music and you have a timer that you can set as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at these lights. It's of course going to be so much better a little later once the sun sets and it's a little darker. But right now we can go through some of these colors and see the differences. There's some blues and some purples. Yeah, let's wait till the sun goes down and it gets a little darker to showcase all the different colors. I'm currently just placing these lights around a couple of bushes we have in the front of our house. Uh, we'll see how they look once the night falls a little bit and where I need to adjust them and place them to illuminate these bushes. I did want to note as well, if you want to change the light um, without downloading the app, you can use this control right here to go ahead and scroll through some different lighting options. There's also that remote control, which will get working as well, so we can turn on and change those options as well. So I just pushed the button once, and now it's scrolling through and scrolling through those different rainbow effects of the lights. So you do have some control with just plugging it in and not connecting it to the app. The app just gives you a lot of options. The included remote does need to be paired with your lights in order to operate them. First thing to do is to install some batteries. It does take two AAA batteries. Next, you're going to unplug your lights and plug them back in. You need to go ahead and press that power button for a long hold, like five seconds. Then go ahead and press any other button on the remote to configure that remote. After that, your lights will respond with that remote, like this. The remote does have a few different options on it, again, so you don't need to download a, that app to utilize your lights or to get some awesome configurations. So you do see the R, B, G buttons right here, go red, blue, and green. Changes between those, you have the warm white light and the cool white light. And then here you also have some modes that you can go through. So that's going to go through one of those modes, blinking. Few different modes you can also make the lights brighter and dimmer or go really super fast a lot of different options so yes just make sure to go ahead and pair your remote to operate those lights with it these lights were really really easy to set up both physically putting them together and putting them in the ground and of course with that app you can just change those colors with a touch of a button the quality of these seem to be pretty heavy duty it has been raining for two days on and off since we installed these and they don't seem to be affected by the water whatsoever thanks to the ip65 now that it's a little darker outside let's go ahead and take a look at these lights so right now i do have them kind of strobing through changing through the scene um, i see that i probably do have to reposition some of these a little closer and a little different on the bush although it looks pretty nice it does illuminate that bush nicely so we have that light there. We have another bush here that we're illuminating. There's a light back there and then one on that side. And then on the other side of the door here, we do have another bush that those lights are illuminating. So what you just saw was that scene. I have it breathing through those lights kind of neat that you can change between those. It is raining, so we won't stay out here too long, but I wanted to show you all the different light options. So of course you do have the option of just changing those, those colors and scrolling through those colors. We have like a red, bright, 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 bright lights, green, 
into like a teal and a blue purple and of course you can change the gradients and how white or dark how intense those lights are and back to that red color by the way on these different scenes you can actually go into the scene and choose the color for instance you could choose red and green for a certain holiday or just your favorite colors and it will go through that pattern of colors and lights It's time to go ahead and test that whole music feature of this app. So if you play music on your phone, for instance, this little ditty, and then you go to your Lumeri app, you click on that music note, you go ahead and click on that music note down on the bottom, and you can choose one of these. You can choose one of those for your lights to start corresponding and syncing with that music. You literally can have your very own little light show. So any music that you're playing on your phone, the app picks it up in the speaker and will match those lights. So these, these three variations, they're just different um, color modes that you can choose. And there's another one. This one's a little brighter. How neat is that? Say you wanted to play this and have your lights dance to the music for a set duration of time. You can set this like you would any other timer on your phone. We're going to have this go off in a little while. Let's play just before 10. Again, go back over to that music note and choose one of these themes. That's a romance one. It's all pink and purple. Thank you so much for watching. These lights are really neat. If you'd like some more information on them, check that link in the description for any details and, of course, all of those specs. We really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. And until we see you again, keep your nose clean. Bye.